Welcome to the next video in our quick start series for Lumen One. This video is focused on how you can create engaging, relevant, active learning opportunities inside your virtual or face-to-face -face classroom. As you know, our goal is to eliminate race and income as predictors of student success. And to do that, we know it's critically important that students feel engaged in the content, that it feels relevant to their lives, and that they're able to actually apply what they're learning to use in the real world and eventually in their actual jobs. And that's why Lumen One is designed so that you can use your class time to create and facilitate active learning exercises with students that they can work on individually or ideally with their peers. These materials to support active learning are located inside your Faculty Engagement Center. As you've seen before, your Faculty Engagement Center is part of your Lumen One course contents. So in this video, you'll see we're jumping into the Engagement Center, and then I'm going to immediately click on Faculty Resources, which is at the bottom of the page. Here, you'll see Teaching Your Statistics class. This has a ton of resources to support your instruction including instructor guides to help you design and facilitate active learning activities in your class. These lesson plans can be modified to fit your modality or to fit your time, but they include all the tools that you would need to lead and facilitate these lessons. Back in our engagement center, you'll also find a section with slide decks and PowerPoints. These slide decks are aligned to those instructor guides. They're designed to be a, a companion to save you time in the classroom. You'll see that each one includes things like affirmations, clear student-facing learning outcomes, and a series of activities that you can do inside your class. The idea here is to save you time by providing those materials aligned to the Lumen One course content. So let's dig a little deeper into what these activities look like. Each of these active learning activities are designed to engage students and ideally peer groups in discussions and higher order thinking. This is not about do the computation, answer the yes or no question. This is about explaining your answer, making a prediction, looking at data and actually testing a hypothesis, having a discussion or a reflection about what you've been reading on your own. Each of these activities have a few sections that we believe will help engage students and also build their sense of confidence and their sense of belonging. For example, there are affirmations in each of the PowerPoints that help celebrate student growth mindset, student confidence, and student self-efficacy. Each of these PowerPoints is aligned to course content. So on recall slides, students will see key terminology, ideas, or formulas explained the exact same way that they saw it explained in the main learning content. And we believe this is important because students told us time and again how frustrating or jarring it can feel when it feels like their textbook is misaligned with what they're hearing in class, that it makes them doubt that the textbook is actually worth spending their time with. And so we wanted our courseware to feel tightly aligned to what you're doing in class and to also save you time by helping you think about and design those activities. Each activity starts with a guided reflection to help students mine what they already understand or to help students relate it to their real lives. For example, in this example, students are thinking about how phone use can impact their grades. And you'll notice that a lot of these active learning activities are designed to be relevant and engaging to students. They use recent data or real world scenarios or things they might see in their actual career. Here's an example about the racial composition of the community. And here's an example around clinical trials where we're asking students to do some pre-thinking about why people actually participate in trials. And then finally, each of these PowerPoints and instructor's guides includes interactive activities where students can interact with their peers. They could go into a Zoom breakout with a small group. We've provided some guidance on what these activities might look like, along with discussion prompts, along with example answers. 
In some cases, this might be the actual answer for the question. In other cases, it might be the sample. But it's a great opportunity for students to actually evaluate the sample against their own, to unpack where there might be differences, and to have an active conversation around it. The big idea is to get students engaging with each other, with you, and with the content. You can make the most of this by actually using these classroom activities. Adapt them, modify them, and use them based on your instructional style and your instructional modality. This will help create those opportunities for peer-to-peer -peer learning and discussion. And you can target them based on where you see that students need support and help using the module highlights or your faculty engagement center. For now, thank you for watching and thank you as always for teaching with Lumen One.